Good morning, everybody. It's Heidi at Hen and Chick Studio. Today is week two of our celebration of gratitude. I love a good quote. I'm going to start off with this. Family is a gift that lasts forever, and gratitude is the way we hold that gift close. So today I'm going to be talking a little bit about gratitude in the form of family. Specifically, I want to tell you about my grandmother. But I'm so glad you're on this journey with me. I love getting the messages I received um, since last week's email. Keep them coming. If you need to send me a a personal message, do. Uh, I would love to hear from you. If you feel so compelled to share your story on our creative community and Facebook, please do so. I'll put the link to Facebook again um, below. So join our creative community if you haven't already. But this week, I want to talk about um, how gratitude, how we feel, um, how gratitude in that way we feel about people who have come before us. Um, You know, they're ones that have shaped our lives and have left us with lasting memories. Maybe it's uh, a parent, maybe a grandparent in my case. Maybe it's a friend um, or a sibling or, um, you know, just somebody that you knew uh, that has that has come before you and um, doesn't mean that they have necessarily passed away, but um, that are leading the way for us, right? So just very um, briefly, I want to tell you about my grandmother, Maureen Moore. She is the one who I credit for giving me the obsession and the passion that I have for quilting. And she just did so many beautiful quilts. One of them is hanging here behind me. We're going to talk more about that in a minute. But, you know, I admired her so much growing up, but probably didn't understand why until I was older her determination, her stick to itness, um, all of that um, just you know certainly rubs out. She loved her family dearly, but just a lot of special things. Uh, and of course, um, I love the fact that she taught me to quilt. Uh, I can tell you, I photographed about a hundred and seventy quilts that she has made, uh, did make in her lifetime. And keep in mind, she did not own a rotary cutter. And at one point, her daughters gave her a sewing machine, but she preferred to do everything by hand. So she cut her fabric with the scissors. She hand pieced everything. She hand appliqued everything. Um, what you're seeing back here is all needle turn applique. And, you know, not necessarily all um, uh, you know, small quilts. She did everything from big quilts to, you know, little quilts. I do a, a trunk show type show. Uh, with some of the beautiful pieces that she has done. She did an English paper piecing type project, like a grandmother's flower garden, but she didn't use any papers. She did that all by um, putting this, drawing the seams on the hexagons and hand sewing it that way. Just all sorts of um, things. She loved prairie points. She loved log cabins. Uh, She was not afraid of color. Uh, She made all of her quilts to give to her family. So there's so many different things about grandma that I could share but uh, she definitely instilled a love of fabric and of creativity in me that uh, I will cherish uh, forever. So this week's challenge for you. Grandma loved to create heart quilts. Um, This is just one of them back here where she would just do a simple heart block and put them together and uh, in all sorts of different combinations. I could show you a whole variety. Maybe I'll add a few extra in um, to the to the email so that you can see more than just this one. But I have cr- created a very simple heart template. It's available for download. That link is also going to be below. And I challenge you. I challenge you to do something with that heart block. If this is for all ages, pull out your crayons, your colored pencils, your fabrics, your paper, whatever whatever medium you would like to create in, I would like to see you make a heart block. And I would love to have you upload that heart block in the link that I'll provide so that 
I can make a virtual quilt of all of the heart blocks that we get so that I can, I would say, wrap us all in gratitude. There will be a deadline so that I can get this done. And the deadline is going to be uh, the day before Thanksgiving. So this can't be a Thanksgiving project. Sorry about that. Um, but you have until then. And Thanksgiving's late this year. So you've still got, let's see, today's the 8th. And you have until the 27th. Uh, because Thanksgiving is on the 28th. So you've got quite a few days um, to work on this. But again, you can do whatever you want. You can color. You can paint. I didn't say that. You could, I'm trying to think of how you could use yarn. Somebody might be get, able to be creative with that. But take a minute, and as you're making that block, think about the people who have come before you and have led the way. Be grateful for them. Think about what it is that they have um, given to you. And just soak in um, a moment of gratitude. Okay? So, want to just really encourage you to participate in our gratitude challenge this week. Again, the heart block will be downloadable. Share it. Share it with your, your friends, your family. Help me make a huge gratitude quilt of blocks and tell me your story when you sent, when you upload the, the block, there'll be a chance. And if you um, want to share your story, I would be glad to. And if you don't have a story and just want to be creative, I love that too. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. Have a great day.